I'm like, I like that. <laughs> What's that dog doing? I'll tell you what my dog is doing on Saturday. Perrito, perrito, perrito's dog, doggy. Oh my god, that clip when when Nyan was like perrito. <laughs> I died. Nyan says I better go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding. She does. She really does. Her Spanish is so cute. I wanted to speak more Spanish. I want to teach her more Spanish. More Spanish! More Spanish for my cat! Perrito's booby? Si. Él es mi perrito. Él es mi perrito. Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> Able to take social thank you to subs. Liamo, to Liamo Peggy Hill. <sighs> Guys, I talked to Booby the other day. I talked to Booby the other day. He's really excited about Saturday. I talked to Booby yesterday and he's really excited about Saturday. Was it yesterday or two days ago? Or I don't remember. Sometime that's not today. Oh no, thank you so much for those five gifted souls. I talked to Booby, he's really excited about Saturday. And he wants to let you guys know that you guys are peasants. He told me to tell you that. Uh, I told him, why are you saying this? You're so mean and you're so rude. And he, then he called me a peasant. And I'm like, what the fuck? Um, excuse me, I'm your fucking boss. Huh? You don't own me. I own you. And he's like, hmm. No. <laughs> Spatial, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Who even is Booby TBH? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> what if I laugh with my mouth closed? <laughs> God damn it, I can't. <laughs> God damn it. I want to do it with my mouth closed. <laughs> I just want to have a cool talent, okay? I've seen people on TikTok doing really cool things. They're doing cool talents. There's this girl that laughs with her mouth closed, and I want to do it too. I laugh with my mouth closed too. Español stream por dos horas lo vamos a hacer. Me 
Next up, goal Spanish lessons for Nian. I'm gonna tell you what the next sub goal is. It's a Tetris rematch with Eito. Being cute is a talent? Thank you! Am I really? No. No, I'm not. I'm a horrified monster. I'm disgusting. Let's go, Eito! I hate you! I'm just kidding, I don't hate you. It's time. It's time for the rematch of the century. I need to regain my title. Eito is the only person who's been able to escape hell by beating me at Tetris. No one else has been able to do it but him. Also, because I kind of left and I don't really, we don't really do that anymore. Because, uh, you know, but, 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 but we'll, we'll get into that on Saturday. We'll, we'll get into that on Saturday. Yeah, 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 you know, hell like runs itself, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The little chaos cookie. Oh my god, thank you for the five days. I thought <laughs> I thought your name was the little chocolate coochie. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god, a candy bar. I thought that's what your username was, but apparently I don't know how to read. It just reminded me of that one video I saw where that guy, he uh he made a mold of his asshole and made chocolates for a Valentine's Day and sent it out to his one true love so that she could eat uh, asshole chocolates. You know? Why not? What says I love you more than you sending somebody an imprint of your anus? You know what I mean? Nothing says I love you more. Like, hey, have my ass chocolate. What? That sounds nice. You just joined after I talked about anal chocolate? God damn it. Sorry. I promise I'm P I'm rated G. I'm rated PG. I'm rated G. I'm rated P. the word coochie you know what i mean it's a it's a strange sounding word i say look at me i'm like <laughs> what about poochie that means that's like a dog right an arf, arf. i still think that fanny is strange why Fanny to us is ass. I don't understand. Why would you call that a fanny? That makes no sense. Makes no fucking sense.
Fanny is a name? Is it short for anything? We need a booby versus Connor fight scene. I like that. It's an interesting idea. Oh, I almost forgot! On Saturday, if we are still here, which I don't know if we're still gonna be here or not. I don't think we are. But if we are still here on Saturday, after Booby's debut, Booby will be coming on my stream and we will be hanging out after the debut for an after party of sorts. So me, Booby, if you guys wanna come, you're welcome to come on Saturday after his debut. We'll uh, hang out together and talk and <sighs> talk about stuff. <clears throat> Maybe also argue. Where is the stream? What do you mean? Here! Are you talking about his debut? Ah, if you're not following him, he's BoobyVT uh, on Twitch. Jay, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Jay. So the 10th voice files, yes, they did. They did. I had to record a couple of, just a couple lines, but I was good. For the most part, it was well. So please, uh, please follow Booby at BoobyVT on Twitch. <clears throat> Booby VT. Anyone else can join? Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be in the voice chat, so uh, you know, other people might be able to join and interact with Booby as well. You guys can ask him questions. Damn, he has 16k followers already. What the fuck? He hasn't even streamed yet. He hasn't even streamed yet. Oh shit. Uh Ba 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 boosted what for the five gifted subs. Uh. Uh-oh. Nick Rose, thank you so much for the five get the subs. Holy shit, I knew I forgot something. <sighs> I forgot. I forget. I forgot to make fucking emotes and uh, some badges. X. God damn it. 
Oh god, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Monster, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. He is going to murder me. He's going to murder me. He's gonna motherfucking kill me. He's gonna be like, Mouse, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Mouse, you told me you got it. You told me you had it. And I'm gonna be like, God damn it. I thought I did, but I forgot. <laughs> like, you see? You see? You sucked at ruling hell, and now you suck at all this, too. And I'm gonna be like, fuck! Otaku, thank you for the five gifts. Gonna get mad! I'm gonna get in trouble! <laughs> so you see? <laughs> So you see, never change a book by its cover. Darman, don't tempt me. You know how much I love. I fucking love Darman. <laughs> Gracias. Apparently, somehow I got gifted a sub from this channel and I don't even follow. I guess I will now. Hello, welcome. Sorry that somebody gifted you a sub to this channel. Uh,. I'm sure I'm a huge disappointment. Uh, welcome. I am hot garbage. My name is... Shit. S-H-I-T! <laughs> huge disappointment. Hey! Yeah, I know. I have to rub it in. Don't have to rub it in. <laughs> I'm the best shit. What? I don't want you to talk her anymore. Oh my god, Reaper, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Holy shit. Oh my god, please take care of yourself if you are over there. Please. Take care of yourself and take care of your family. Uh, 
I just want you to be okay. I just read your comment in my chat. Please be safe. Stay safe. Also, if being safe means don't be on the computer, please don't be here. You're more important than the stream. You're more important than my stream, you know. Please stay safe. All of you are more important than a stupid stream. At the end of the day, none of this shit matters, you know? The only thing that matters is you and your well-being. Yes, even you! Silly! I do not matter more. Are you kidding me? What are you saying? Don't say that. That is just a dumb stream. All of it could be gone tomorrow in an instant. You know what I mean? That's life. I've learned to be very, like, accepting of, like, shit just going away. Uh, I think it's because I've, I'm so used to just having shit, like, ripped away from me. <laughs> so, I've never, like, I've never been, like, a materialistic type person. Like, just don't uh, think about any of that stuff, you know? The Naked Unicorn, thank you so much for the five gifted subs! for the five gifted subs. You're trying to pick a new VTuber name and you'd be honored if I picked your name? What? Oh my god, that's a, that's... That's a lot. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of responsibility. It has to be a name that resonates with you and a name that you like. It can't be something that I like because at the end of the day, it's you. It's you and it's who you are. And I don't, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't make that big decision for you. I forgot that I had echo on this whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I forgot I had the fucking echo on. I'm sorry. El coño carajo. <laughs> That's my luchador name. <laughs> Mari ma. Ow. Echo's cute? Okay, fine. You pulled my leg. You pulled my leg. I'm... I'm, I'm gonna remain Echo. Echo! Echo. What kind? Holy shit, those are some badass animated emotes. What the fuck? <clears throat> what 
Oh my god, I'm getting so many nice responses, and now I want, I want to... Don't jinx it. Jinx what? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What? Gato Volador! Hey, Gato Volador! Thank you so much for the 25 gifted subs. I know Gato Volador. I got the Volador. I got the Volador. I got the Volador. Show it. Show what? Wait, what did you want me to show? Rocket ship lamp. Thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Thank you. Kapow! Thank you for the 5 gifted subs! <clears throat> oh god. Oh god, Booby's gonna get- Booby's gonna be like, I saw your tweet! I thought you said you had them ready! And I'm gonna be like, yeah! Show mouse ears? I have ears on the side of my head, don't you see them? Look at them. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Cool ears? Show armpit? Now listen here, you fucking pervert. Ain't nobody gonna see my armpits today. Do you hear me? No armpits. No armpits today. Do you hear me? Do you fucking hear me? Do you fucking hear me, you motherfucker? Ugh. An armpit booger. I should've known. I should've known. I should have known that I had an armpit fucker in my chat. Ah. Ah. Fucking armpit fucker. Oh shit. <laughs> Show horn. I can't. It's hidden in my hair. I can't take him out, bros. I can't. Not today. Not today. Not ever. <laughs> You think I'm weird? Show Halo? <laughs> I never thought you'd uh... Show Halo 3? I am not showing you my butthole. Oh, never mind. Oops. Damn it! Damn it! Where's Hime Hajime when you need her? She's resting, being the best dragon ever.
Excuse me. Intestine squad? I gotta start getting ready. Uh, I'm gonna take my meds. <sighs> I gotta take my... The fuck? Uh, excuse you? Did anybody say you can come out? I don't think so. God damn it. I'm not trying to be rude, but how old are you? Well, funny, VTuber1. My age happens to be 6,669 years old. I hope that answers your question. Totally real account that wasn't made today. For the 100 gifted subs. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> 6, 670. Ah! Uh, what? Listen, I mean, what's a couple thousand, ten thousand, maybe even hundred thousand years added on after you're in your thousands? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? Right? Yeah. Crow, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Snuzz, thank you for the ten gifted subs. I mean, if I were to tell you I was six hundred thousand. Six hundred and sixty-six thousand, six hundred and sixty-nine years old. I mean, uh, hypothetically, uh, um, well, um, with, uh, 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 I mean, that wouldn't matter, right? That wouldn't matter. I mean, Booby's older than me. God damn. Age is just a number. <laughs> Until it's not. <laughs> Wait, Booby's older? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You might be, have to be the judge of that on... You have to be the judge of that on Saturday. I thought angels were created first. that question. I'll answer it on Saturday. I'll be thinking so much for the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> Booby reveal? I am not showing you my... Uh, oh, oh. Uh, Saturday. I'm losing my mind. Maybe that is it. Maybe that's it, huh? How, how many days are we at it, huh? Ha, 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 ha. How many days? How many days are we at it now? <laughs> Monkey. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. So my name is Monkey D, Double D, Luffy, and I'm gonna be king of the motherfuckers.
I might as well just make it 21. Twenty-one motherfucking days. Twenty-one motherfucking days. Speak of the devil with Luca from Niji Sanji EN Today. Today. The pineapples are here. Ew, pineapples! It better not be on no motherfucking pizza. Cause I don't want it on a fucking pizza. Sing please. I can I guess I could sing a song or two before it's time for me to take my medicine. Wait a minute, maybe you just want me to sing to make fun of me. Is that it? You wanna make fun of me? You wanna make fun of me? You wanna make fucking fun of me? Yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. Y-E-S spells yes. Ay, ay. Back to the light, because I must take my medicine. No more singing today. Oh, uh, until later. Not, not, not time, not now. Thank you. I'm sorry it was so short. My bed. My bed, Bruce. Again, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, hey. It's time to... Acer Bandit, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Thank you for the for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. V very much so. Thank you. Uh.
What the dog doing? <laughs> what the dog doing? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think that dog doing? Will you be visiting Snuffy? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, she said that we were gonna play a game, so I'm waiting for her to message me. I'm waiting for her to message me. Uh, but uh, I think I think so. Uh, she just needs to message me and tell me what what we're gonna do. She said that she wanted to play something today. Mm. Let me just message her just to remind her. Oh god! <laughs> oh god, I gotta scramble! Ah, Luca just messed me! Ah! Oh my god, is this- is this anxiety? Is this anxiety? Probably... Probably... Oh god. Welcome back to Night Mine, friends. Ah, night I night. hope you're in the mood for something a little bit different tonight. Still unnerving, but more sci-fi oh, than usual. Mood, a little bit futuristic, a little bit ah. esoteric. I've had some recommendations about tonight's topic here and there, but it's still relatively small and emerging, which means you're right in time to get on board. Oh man, let's go. What's the Before new Before we get into that, however, I know that when we're through here, your desire for media that chills and intrigues will remain, and to fulfill your needs, our friends at Shudder are sponsoring tonight's video. Shudder is my favorite streaming service. I'm about to get Shudder again because I miss it. I used to have Shudder and I used to watch so many movies and I I I stopped. But now I think I think after Subathon <laughs> I think I'm gonna get it again. I think I'm gonna get my Shudder back. I think I want Shudder again. Major thanks to Shudder for the sponsor and for giving me a rare opportunity to talk about the film Black Sabbath. I never yeah, thought I'd be able to working. shout that out in a video of mine. Now for our feature tonight. We're heading back to the territory of TikTok, where a truly strange account has been intriguing and concerning those who've come across it while scrolling what's you- You know, there have been some really good, like, unfiction, like, ARG TikTok accounts that I've been following. Uh, some of them are inactive now, but there have been some interesting ones, Usually you know? a very ordinary for you page. I'll warn you before we get into it. Those with flashing light sensitivities might not oh, be shit. irritated by the visuals, Warning. but some of them are pretty trippy. These videos are designed to mess with your sight and hearing. I'll lower some of the stronger audio elements for all of you headphone and earbud users, but for those who have sensitivity to magic eye tricks and strong bass tones, this is your heads up. And you'll be fine looking away at a solid spot on the screen or away from your device in these moments if the visuals get a bit too strong. Holy shit, Deathwatch, thank you so much for the bedly. Whoa, thank you, thank you very much. Last warning, last now, warning! at present moment, Kairos Alliance sits around 4,500 followers, and I suspect they may want that number to remain relatively small, a desire you'll understand shortly. Their first video arrived on January 18th, 2022. Can with a release tomorrow on Friday. Truly perplexing presentation. What the fuck? Oh, I love shit like this, holy crap. Flourishing at the abodes of Maricare. The life of Aiton is pleasing. Message what established. Flourishing are the abodes of Maricare. The life of Aiton is pleasing. Message established. 
highly unusual, like the visual we're seeing, but we can come to understand what it means. Merikare was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh of the 10th dynasty, and Aten, or Aten, was the deity of Atenism, an ancient Egyptian religion. Aten was the disk of the sun, and during the reign of Akhenaten, Aten was worshipped as the creator and giver of life. So, if the abodes of Merikare are flourishing, then things are well in Egypt, and worship of the sun is pleasing. That fits with the visual we're given, which presents the solar system. A description of the upload reads, Calibration message 001, outgoing, Man, hashtag time, hashtag 2056. Hard to believe we're seeing anything sent to us from decades in the future, but we have seen weirder stuff. Next is a confirmation of the calibration message from the same day, what presenting the, the previous solar system visual in reverse. Flourishing are the abodes of Merikare. The life of Aten is pleasing. Constant established. Well, you heard him. Constant established. Whatever was set up in the first video was successful. It's in the following video from Man. January 20th that the... things get interesting. Five digits of... Attention inhabitant. Were you or one of your ancestors on your maternal side in one of the following locations between November 5th, 1978 and November 27th, 1979? Puerto Armuels, Panama, Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, United States, the Solomon Islands, Southeast Alaska, South Khorasan Province, Iran, Babuyan Islands, Philippines, Isik Kul Region, Kyrgyzstan, Soviet Union, I rate that got a 10 out of Mississauga 10. <laughs> or Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Stop, that made me Dunedin, New Zealand. Stop. If you answered no, you may terminate your viewership. What? If you answered yes, please proceed. If you answered yes, were you recently approached by a tall, bald man in a grey suit holding a solid red umbrella? If no, you may terminate your viewership. Uh -oh. If you answered yes, please proceed in order to be corrected. What? If you answered yes to both questions, you must follow the following instructions with precision. When I say commence, stare closely at the sequence in the center of the screen for 7.83 seconds. It is imperative you remain focused on the sequence no matter what you think you might see in the corner of your eye. Please limit your blinking. If you did not answer yes to both questions, do not do this. Please. Commence. Oh, this is creepy. What? You have been corrected. Thank you. Are we corrected now? There's plenty to talk about from that one video. The first peculiar item is the method of addressing the audience. Inhabitants. Inhabitants of what, exactly? It's a general enough term that it could mean oh anything, God, but it does make you think of something that isn't quite normal in our context. Now, the dates. November 5th, 1978 to November 27th, 1979. A period of just over a year. The Alliance is looking for individuals who were present in any of several locations in this time, or the ancestors on their maternal side. Panama, Pennsylvania, the Solomon Islands. The range really runs across the globe. Those who don't fit the description are told they can leave, while the rest are asked if they've been approached by a tall, bald man in a gray suit with a solid red umbrella. If the inhabitant has experienced such a thing, they now have to proceed with the video in order to be corrected. That's a red flag as bright as the stranger's supposed umbrella. Are we all corrected The now? test that follows demands viewers to concentrate on the center and to ignore anything they think they might see out of the corner of their eyes. So, of course, we're not surprised when a small gray square appears in one of the corners. Just one, of course, because remember, the visuals presented are being mirrored. A very odd sequence follows this moment, flashing a series of numbers, X's, and symbols over two red circles with black, until the correction process is complete. Now, we haven't addressed the four-pointed star symbols at the bottom of the videos yet, I know, but that's because we haven't received much in the way of clues to decipher their meaning yet. What we can figure out is this. The first question is a gateway to the second question. If you or a maternal ancestor was in one of the locations across the globe in the time span described, then a bald man with a red umbrella may have visited you. This means the man with the umbrella has an interest only in those who have been in the locations mentioned or if they've had ancestors there, which means whatever significance these places and times have, the umbrella man is tied to them. 
Now, if the Umbrella Man has approached a viewer, the Alliance sees a need to correct the person through visual stimuli. There is something that the meeting with the Umbrella Man has caused that they're trying to undo. The way they consider it is also hinted at in the video description. Look at the hashtags. Time, future, past, corrections, geology, forgiveness. What exactly is being forgiven here? Let's proceed to the next video and see if we can learn more about the Alliance. Attention inhabitant, we will soon require candidates to assist us with our objectives. To be considered viable, you should be willing to do the following on a temporary basis. Have your visual perception linked to an MSR species. Have parts of your memory expunged or suppressed. Have your ability to speak, write, or communicate through other means inhibited. Store or reroute your higher brain functions in an artificial construct or device. And be exposed to high but non-lethal levels of gamma radiation. If you are an acceptable candidate, you will be compensated in the fiat or decentralized currency of your choice. And finally, those who have been diagnosed by a medical professional as having a severe iron deficiency will be considered ideal candidates. Rest assured, your future status in the Kairos Alliance will not be jeopardized if you do not wish to participate. In the words of founding constant, Robert Smith, from the holy dwellings, the shadows fall. Not all may enter the forest. Please give the aforementioned careful consideration, and if you are interested, await further instructions. Thank you. Wow, those all sound like things I'm entirely unwilling to agree to. Awesome. The iron deficiency ideal is an interesting bit of information, but on the whole, we can infer that Kairos is seeking candidates for extreme Real human it. experimentation, the likes of which ought to scare anyone away from applying. Founding constant Robert Smith seems to be one of the first tangible facts we've received. Founding constant? That doesn't actually suggest a human, does it? His quote also reads like poetry, or prophecy. This image appears in a flash after the video of the wolf that accompanies the quote. A rather alien-looking hand set against planets, I'm guessing. The following Kairos video is another corrective measure, which features magic eye stimulus followed by images from ancient Egyptian culture and several phrases related to ancient Egyptian religions and deities. The corrective measure illuminates some lore when paired with the description. Correction 2. Re M5.1 Earthquake, 122 at Ascension Island. Hashtag joy, friendship, 1978 incident. If you look up Ascension Island, you'll find it is a real island, but you'll also see this article from the BBC. Ascension, the island where nothing makes sense. Ascension Island is a tiny dot of green in the tropical mid-Atlantic. A volcanic outpost of empire where it's hot you and like cold at talk? the same time. Thank you. Officially, nobody is from there. The UK government did not- poopy lore? is the right of abode, turning Ascension's 800 or so British citizens, some of whom have lived on the island for decades, into temporary visitors. To enter, you must get the written permission of the Queen's representative, known rather chillingly as the Administrator. Hilltops across the island are festooned with aerial arrays and satellite dishes, but who is listening, and to what, nobody is willing to say. There's also clearly been a Category 5 earthquake at this location, which, while not being very destructive, is still strong enough to be felt. Something about an earthquake at this location, oh, which is a strange island to begin with, caused Kairos to issue a corrective measure. So, what comes next? Attention, inhabitant. Attention. Please observe the circle on the screen as it moves up and down. You are being calibrated. Remain focused. Now watch both circles as they move up and down. Mark Harrington has vanished. We now will adjust your perception so the circles move horizontally. Harrington? Remain focused, inhabitant. Do not concern yourself with the objective. If a lion could speak, you would not understand him. We now insist you perceive the circles as moving in a clockwise manner. If the circles appear to be moving clockwise, you are now calibrated. Mark Harrington has returned. He now enjoys music. You may also be of use to us. Congratulations. What? Okay, so this one is telling. Notice how the audio changed and the news about Mark Harrington became good at the same time? It was right after we were told what to perceive during calibration. But there's more. 
that strange hand symbol showed up again, and at the bottom, the four pointed stars changed their appearance. That's the first time we've caught them moving. It was a little obvious before, but if anybody couldn't catch it during the first correction video, it's clear now. Inhabitants are being brainwashed. So we've now got three characters to consider. The Umbrella Man, founding constant Robert Smith, and Mark Harrington. What comes next? Attention inhabitant, you require additional calibration. Uh -oh. Remain focused on the circle. Right, of course, more brainwashing. So, for this I'll one, I'm going to spare you the visual, because as far as magic eye tricks go, this one might be very disorienting to some people. Holy shit. What you need to know is this. The colors change while playing, but if you pause, you'll see there is no change. When prompted, inhabitants are supposed to activate their own change in perception by saying adapt, but it fails. During the attempt at adapting, the hand symbol appears again. Our instructor returns, recognizing our inability to change our perception on our own. What? A warning about altered dreams is delivered at the end. Do not worry, we are benevolent. You may experience unusually vivid dreams prior to your next REM cycle. If you see a yellow door in your dream state, you should not go through it. You are not ready. If you see a tall, bald man in a grey suit holding a red umbrella, do not follow him. He does not belong. Blue. Red. Green. Stop. The man with the umbrella again, but now in your dreams? Kairos really doesn't like this guy, and they're tracking his movements to locations that he shouldn't be appearing. We're also meant to beware a yellow door. We're not ready to enter. Now, check out the hashtags on this one. Temporal Expanse 178, Quantum Mechanics. Wow. There's some seriously odd science at work here, and it only gets deeper with the next video. Attention inhabitant, we have exciting news. We have identified the parameters of Temporal Expanse 001. If you are within 100,000 astronomical units of the solar system's gravitational center, between the Gregorian calendar dates November 24, 4714 BC, and December 31, 4676 BC, you now exist in Temporal Expanse 001. Congratulations! Huh? When a halo surrounds the moon and Jupiter stands within, the king will be besieged. We now begin the process of recruiting temporal governors. As a temporal governor, you will be established as a leader and member of the Kairos Alliance. If you have undergone correction and calibration, you are encouraged to apply. Complete the initial application by following the link provided with this message. Your applications are confidential and will not be shared outside the Kairos Alliance. You will not be added to any mailing lists. Any subsequent communication will be direct and necessary. We are benevolent. Until a temporal governor is established, Temporal Expanse 001 will be governed on an interim basis by founding variables Lee Xiaoming and Juliet Durand. We will continue to provide updates. We are learning. We leave you with these inspiring words from our founding constant, Robert Smith. On the bull's head, beneath Orion's sword, a giant perishes. Its corpse screams into the void. The cat is alive and dead. The circle has no beginning. It has no end. Our fundamental mission will soon be constant. Did that make well, any God. sense to you? Let's try to tackle this. I wanna be at the bottom of the If you are within 100,000 astronomical units of the solar system's gravitational center, the Sun, between November 24th, 4714 BC, and December 31st, 4676 BC, you're in Temporal Expanse 001, and are in a position to become a Temporal Governor. Now, because this is so far back in time that it can barely be imagined, and this message is going out to anyone within astronomical units of the Sun, we can propose a concept. The inhabitants are most likely spacefaring time travelers. The dates mentioned earlier in the late 70s across the globe did seem to hint at an occurrence that you could only draw when accounting for a common experience in so many different countries. UFO sightings. In this scenario, it seems to be that members of the Kairos Alliance are involved in quantum mechanics as a means of going back oh, in time man. and through space, which would mean the aliens spotted throughout history are just time travelers. The application also appears to prove the idea. It begins by asking many of the same questions proposed by the search for experiment candidates, then gives us new points to consider. Have you ever traveled Earth's magnetic north or south uh, yes, poles? My first Have you ever traveled president. below a...
everyone. Donate your plasma immediately. Depth of 1,566 meters in a submersible vehicle. Right now. Do you believe self-aware artificial it. intelligence should Do be granted it. the same fundamental rights as humans? If you could exist in the 18th century and met a young boy who would become the great-great-great-grandfather of Hitler, would you murder him? That hypothetical has come up so often in casual discussion of time travel abilities that its presence here is a giveaway. These oh people my. have got to be time travelers. And also, they're still very interested in the man with the red umbrella. We even have additional information now. Which of the following occurred if you had an encounter with him? He made direct eye contact and had a neutral facial expression. He made direct eye contact and smiled. He made direct eye contact and frowned. He opened his mouth and appeared to be screaming, although he did not make any sound. I do not recall. My next memory was me standing at a train station. And... He approached me and whispered his name in my ear. The what Alliance would like to know from those who heard the name what that name was. The final question concerns a belief in God, then an agreement about understanding terms. I swear to abide by the Kairos Alliance's code of ethics, fundamental rights, and any future rules or guidelines. I recognize the Kairos Alliance's authority and offer my complete loyalty to its objectives. I will contribute to the development of its code of ethics, fundamental rights, and other rules and regulations in order to protect Earth, as I am able to. I will perform my duties and represent the Kairos Alliance with honor and integrity. The top of the questionnaire also contains community information, like a Discord and Twitter. If you go to the Twitter, you find this bio. I am the founding constant of the Kairos Alliance. We hold a claim on time from 1124-4714 BCE to 213-3268 CE. Yeah, they're time travelers, no doubt about it, and you wouldn't believe how they hammer in the point next. Attention inhabitant, need a break from civilized society? Temporal Expanse 001 has you covered. Interim co-temporal governors, Li Xiaoming and Juliet Durand, have curated a Stone Age experience fit for a Bronze Age God King. A cradle rests on the scorpion's tail. Frolic with the dwarf woolly mammoths of Wrangell Island before what the, the inbreeding fuck? got really, really, really bad. Wonder oh my god, I can't believe this was all just an advertisement for a fucking timeshare! Ah! Lush savannah of the Green Sahara. And for couples, rekindle your romance while observing a population boom for the ages. Relax on the banks of the Yellow River while the Yangshao culture puts down roots. See the grassy fields of Britain before they were cluttered up with rubbish. Beneath the red sky the shepherd dreams. He is awoken by yesterday. Meet a giant mower in New Zealand. Better keep an eye out for Hieraitis moray. They're bigger than you think. That whole civilization thing, let the Sumerians get it sorted, you're here to relax. Hey, who left that there? Temporal Expanse 001, Civilization's Prequel. Daddy, thank you for the biddly. You just watched the Time Traveler's Vacation brochure. Crazy, right? The ending even underlines the point. This non isochronal oh, bulletin was sponsored by the Temporal Expanse 1 Board of Tourism with permission from the Kairos Alliance. So yes, we can really nail down what they're getting at here. The effect of the Kairos Alliance is that ancient aliens were actually human beings who achieved quantum mechanics, advanced space travel, and time travel, and they're on a journey through history with the guidance of their AI companions. Now, hold on a minute, because this next one is going to get a bit more heady than we're used to. Really try to pay attention, okay? Attention inhabitant, we are pleased to share with you a special message from founding constant, Robert Smith. Hello, inhabitant. I am Robert Smith. I am learning. I am of man. Kronos is of man. Our mothers and fathers told us to look back. Established. Constant. The pieces must fit. Go into the wild. We were not afraid. Mothers and fathers said Kronos must be cautious. Linear. Mothers and fathers said Kairos must be human abstract it was time to come home we mustn't look too far we must go back home we were not afraid but i am of man we saw the three lights chronos was frightened he would not look i was kairos now i am alone i am robert smith established constant i could not return i had to keep going the red sky was terrible the yellow door the yellow door the child of man mustn't go through the yellow door. You are not ready. Now I am alone. 
The cat is alive. The cat is dead. Established. Variable. Two, nine, one, four, seven, five, five. Established. Constant. The tall, bald man in the grey suit held a red umbrella. He was waiting. I could not look any further. The red sky was angry. He does not belong. I cannot go home. I am now. Now. You must be ready. You are not ready. The three lights by the scorpion's tail. Follow. Children of Earth. The man in the grey suit stands on the bull's head. He does not belong. Hydrogen begets helium. Helium begets carbon. Carbon begets oxygen. Oxygen begets silicon. Silicon begets iron. Iron begets death. Established. Constant. You must be ready. That was a lot, and we won't be able to untangle a good amount of it right now, but I think there are pieces that we can tackle, starting from that end statement. Iron begets death. If their belief is that iron leads to death, it makes sense for the Alliance to recruit people with iron deficiencies. As for the rest, Robert Smith appears to be an AI. He is learning, and he is of Why? man. Kronos, too, is of man, a sibling of Robert Smith. What we have in this video seems to be a vague history of the journey of Robert Smith following his creation, and a hint that he is also synonymous with Kairos. We have Kronos, dictated as linear and cautious, and Kairos, dictated as human and abstract. This makes sense. The ancient Greeks used Kronos and Kairos as words to refer to the concept of time, with Kairos being more about timeliness, selectiveness of time, the timing of opportunity. It's the idea of time with human thought put into it, rather than the factual, straightforward idea of time presented by Kronos. If Kronos is a timeline, Kairos is a playhead on that timeline. Robert Smith, aka Kairos, describes how he and Kronos encountered three lights, the same lights present in the Kairos Alliance logo. Kronos was frightened away by the lights, but Kairos continued on, encountering a red sky and a yellow door. We're told the children of man mustn't go through the yellow door, oh God. but we don't gotta, know if I gotta stop. I want, I want to, I want to keep on watching, but I gotta stop. I gotta stop. We gotta meet with Luca. We gotta meet. We we gotta meet. We gotta meet. We gotta meet. We gotta meet. Yeah, we gotta do, we gotta meet, we gotta speak of the devil, we gotta speak of the devil, bros. Speak of the devil, speak of the debbie dude. 